Welcome to a Red Hat Consulting whiteboarding video. I'm Jim, a delivery manager with Red Hat Consulting. I brought along my buddy Jeremy, and we're going to talk microservices architectures with you. Jeremy, I know that recently you've been working with quite a few clients on moving from a monolithic approach to application development to a more microservices approach. What challenges are they facing, and what are they trying to solve with this move? So the problem we're trying to solve moving away from this monolith to the microservice is an inability to quickly fix bugs and add features to a product. Um, these large, inefficient uh, code bases are very hard for a developer to come in and quickly contribute to. And that can create uh, inefficiencies both within the people and with your computing resources too. Yeah, that's a really great dive into the micro layer of you know what we see at that scale, the developer scale, the individual scale, um, when we talk about going from monoliths to microservices. If we step up the stack, if we talk about how this approach, how this change affects our enterprise customers, you really get to the point, you talk about efficiency gains, right? You talk about moving to an API-based approach where you can have logic in one place and it's used by not one application, but multiple applications and multiple channels. That you can have web apps, mobile apps, desktop applications that all utilize these same services that are part of your microservices approach. That also allows us to have nice, tighter, cleaner software development life cycles and allows the enterprise to get value out of their application development teams much more quickly and efficiently. We can also look at it from an infrastructure size. Having a microservices oriented approach allows us to horizontally scale our services so that we can easily handle excess demand and then scale back down when we no longer use those extra compute resources. Jeremy, if you could tell our folks one thing about why they should go from this monolithic approach to a microservices approach, what would you tell them? So what we have to do first is take some time at the beginning to break everything up into a logical microservice architecture and separate everything and create a strong API contract to guarantee data transfer between all these microservices. But once you do that, you create a small focused team working on a small focused code base, which makes it much easier for them to add new features, to fix bugs, and to generally just get a quick return on investment on their time. Yeah, that's a great point. You know, Red Hat Consulting really does have really good experience and brings a lot of value when we can come in and help our customers go from this monolithic to a microservices-based approach. To learn more about how Red Hat Consulting can help your team, check with your account executive or go to redhat.com services.